Masai Ujiri was in the building to watch the Raptors latest game. The Raptors followed up a very impressive win against the Suns with a bad outing against the Knicks. The Raptors three point shooting continues to be a problem. The bench no shows more times than not. And this team has been incredibly up and down. Ujiri appeared on the Raptors broadcast and when talking about the Raptors direction, Masai said this, and I quote, this is the team we have. I think building around Scotty Barnes, we have Pascal Siakam, we have Ojin Anobi, we have young players, you know, Grady Dick. These guys coming up and I feel we let it sit and see how these guys progress in the new system and then we go from there. Of course, Masai answered the question in a circle, but he did mention building around Barnes. I hope there's some truth to that because ironically, Barnes was the only bright spot in the loss against the Knicks and he continues to be the most consistent bright spot on the team. The writing has been on the wall for the Raptors for a while now and it's time they choose this direction. What's going on everyone? It's Luca here back with another video. In this one, I'll tell you the problem that the Raptors can't ignore any longer and what this team needs to do to get out of mediocrity. If y'all can be saw a favor, please hit a like on the video, it helps a ton. And also subscribe to the channel for more Raptors and NBA content just like this. The Raptors are 9 and 11 and they have been very inconsistent. The Raptors have beaten some good teams, but then they have looked really bad in some of their losses. That's what a 500 team does. The main problem for the Raptors right now is that the roster construction isn't good. It's not like they don't have talent, it's just not the right fit with each other to sustain success. 20 games is a pretty good sample size and I'm doubling down, tripling down on my take because I swear I've made multiple videos on this dating back to last season. The Raptors need to finally embrace rebuilding around Scotty Barnes. Shop Siakam and see what you can get. Figure out what you're going to do with Ananobi. Enough of this wait and see approach. As a result of it, this team continues to be stuck in the middle. Scotty Barnes has been the best Raptor to this point. Don't believe me, numbers don't lie. This is courtesy of Omar Osman, 200 on X. Barnes is near the top, if not at the very top, in many key categories for the Toronto Raptors so far this season. He's been the Raptors MVP. Barnes also has the fourth most stocks this season behind AD, Wemby, and Brooke Lopez. In the game against the Knicks, Barnes single-handedly kept the Raptors in the game, but he had virtually no help around him in that second half. Barnes has shown signs of being a star. He's already becoming one of the best young two-way players in the league, and Barnes' defense has been remarkable to watch, and his offensive game continues to evolve. He's already demonstrated a winning mentality as well. Yes, it hasn't been all perfect, and there's still plenty of room for growth, but the upside is clearly there. The Raptors have their main building block. If the Raptors want to build towards success, they need to finally pick a direction. They continue to wait and see, and look, they waited and lost Fred Van Vliet for nothing, and if they continue to wait and see with no course of action, they could very well lose Pascal Siakam and Ojin Anobi for nothing as well. Both players are set to become unrestricted free agents next summer. The first course of action the Raptors must take, shop and trade Siakam to get a package of assets that will complement Scotty Barnes. The Raptors do not want to commit to Pascal Siakam long term and give him the max. Siakam has good stretches and then he disappears. And it hasn't just been this season either. I've been critical of Siakam post Kawhi Leonard era, but I've been right about him. He's a good secondary piece, but you can't pay him as a number one guy. He's too redundant with Scotty Barnes in this situation. I just can't see them coexisting consistently at a high level without one taken away from the other. We've seen it many times already this season. If Barnes is the lead, Siakam falls back. If Siakam is the lead, Barnes falls back. It doesn't help either that Siakam can't hit threes this season, which has really hurt the Raptors offense. The Raptors must commit to one or the other, and that one is Barnes. There are going to be many teams inquiring about Siakam. Yes, Siakam is on a contract year, but that won't stop teams from trying to get aggressive. We saw last season with Kyrie Irving when the Mavs traded for him and then went on to re-sign him in the offseason. The Golden State Warriors name has already popped up, a team that could very well be a perfect trading partner for the Raptors. The Warriors are 9-11 as well. Meanwhile, they're still trying to go for it with Stephen Curry still playing at a high level. They still have Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. A versatile player like Siakam would help them a ton where he can be a true secondary option. The Warriors have tradable contracts to make this work as well, like Andrew Wiggins or Chris Paul, and they have good young prospects like Pods, Kaminga, and Moody. Bill Simmons recently proposed a trade on his podcast, and he said Kaminga and Wiggins for Siakam. Now, I do think the Raptors need Moody in any kind of package with the Warriors. The Pacers and Hawks are two Eastern Conference teams that could get aggressive and look to add an all-star to get them in that next tier, and Siakam would make a lot of sense for both of those teams. Remember, the Hawks were rumored to be trying to trade for Siakam this past summer. 
The Raptors need to get a return for Siakam because the Raptors can't afford to lose him for nothing, nor should they bring him back on a long-term max contract, which will continue to set this team back. The next interesting part about this is what the Raptors end up doing with OJ and Anobi. If I had to choose, I'd rather pay and pair Ananobi with Barnes long-term over Siakam. However, will paying Ananobi the max be justified? Michael Scotto of Hoops Hype said, Toronto is concerned about potential teams who could give Ananobi a shorter term max contract due to the weak free agent market. Similar to what we saw happen with Fred Van Vliet. And according to the Hoops Hype podcast, the Philadelphia 76ers are one of the potential teams who could give Ananobi a max contract this summer. So if the Raptors want to keep OG, they're going to have to pay up for him. Now, OG's skill set is more complimentary to Barnes, and we've seen that so far. He can shoot the three at a high level, and he plays incredible defense. Seriously, we've seen how lost the Raptors have looked when OG has missed time. On the flip side of it, the Raptors could of course do a full fire sale and cash in on a big haul for Ananobi if they choose to. The Kings are set to be interested, and you know Ananobi will also get a considerable amount of interest as we approach the trade deadline. The Raptors have other free agents we won't get to in this one, like what will they end up doing with Gary Trent Jr., but the main driving force, I think, to all of this will be what this team ends up doing with Siakam. The Raptors need to realize that they need to commit to a direction, or else they will continue to be in the middle with no upside. It's not just 20 games here. We've seen this now dating back to last season. Darko Ryakovich is a player development coach, so you can't fault him a lot either. Yes, he's made some very questionable decisions and has made some mistakes, but he's done his job for the most part. Management needs to now do theirs. There's no rush right now to make any moves as the vast majority of players who signed free agent deals this past summer can't be traded until December 15th anyway. And it is unlikely that the Raptors will make a huge move until the new year. However, the time is coming for the Raptors to make a franchise altering move. Will they shake it up or will they continue to roll the dice on mediocrity? Do you want to see the Raptors fully commit to Barnes and trade Siakam instead of extending him? Would you trade OG too or give him the max? Let me know your full thoughts, guys. What do you want to see from this Raptors team moving forward? And what do you make of this whole situation? Which side of this are you on? Let me know your thoughts, guys. Please drop a like on the video. It helps it a ton. And also subscribe to the channel for more Raptors content just like this. I wanted to wait for the mini break to put out a piece like this and give you guys my current take of the Raptors situation. We will see how everything plays out. But the Raptors, they will be back in action on Wednesday against the Miami Heat. That is it for me, everyone. This is Lucas signing off. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next video.